Hello, in case you didn't know and you don't follow me on um, Instagram, I am now partially blonde. So that's something that's happening. But today I wanted to do a video that I'm so excited about. Um, and that is like a bra try on, not like it is. Um, but you guys know, I'm all about the bralette. Like what I'm wearing right now, this is from Old Navy and like it's comfy and I like it. And I'm like a, I'm a 34C technically. I don't feel like it. I've always been like 30, 32, I've gained weight, and now I'm a 34 for sure, but I don't feel like I'm a C, I feel like I'm a B, but then Bs are too tight, so a lot of Cs I've tried have been too big. Now, all of my bras are wireless, every one I own is a wireless like bralette thing like what I'm wearing here. I have one wired bra that I just got from Parade that I mentioned in a video. Um, they sent it to me so kindly because I do work with them um, and I love it and it's great but the only color I wanted was black and they didn't have like a nude. Um, a nude, <laughs> I love a nude bra because I'm an old lady and because it doesn't, you can't see it underneath your clothes. So I wanted a bra. Now bras are overpriced in my opinion. Parade always has sales but like I said they only had the black one and I wanted a nude one. In most cases bras are like 50 plus dollars. <laughs> That's a lot and for someone like me who doesn't wear a bra that often um, I didn't want to spend that much. So what I did was I ordered from Target. All of these bras were $15 or less. They're from the brand Auden. I think they all are that brand. Now I've had bralettes from them before. I have like a cute little nighty outfit from them. They're really soft, um, decent quality. I placed an order, got all of these. I'm sure I'm gonna return like at least two, but I thought I'd try them on. One is wireless and then the other three have a wire. Can we find affordable bras? When you want a bra, like do you have to spend $50 on it? We're gonna find out. So let's see, we're gonna try these suckers on. I got every single one in a 34C. So if they're all too big, then they're all too, <laughs> too big. But um, I'm really excited. We're gonna talk about the quality, the softness, the comfort, the fit, the straps, all that good stuff. And I will link to all of them below. Um, I did get one in black because they didn't have another color. I got, yes, I got one in nude, a bralette one, the um, wireless in black, another wired one in black, and then this like brown color. Um, just because that's what there was available in my size. Um, but yeah, let's get into the try-ons. So exciting. So I think all these are demi or full coverage. So this is called the Auden Every the Everyday Lightly Lined Demi Coverage Underwire Bra Adjustable Strap, smooth under clothes, designed to reduce wire poke through and enhance bra life. Very basic. I mean, this is basic of basic. One thing I don't like about bras that are like molded or um, regular bras is that they're too round. And I don't wanna say my boobs aren't round, but like they're too like too round where like your boob doesn't fit into them and your, your bra doesn't mold to your breasts. It's the other way around, which just doesn't work. Um, so this one might be a little bit like that, but it doesn't seem too bad. It does seem a little bit bigger than what I need, um, but it's really, really soft. The quality feels okay. This is definitely something you're gonna wanna hand wash and air dry, um, which you do want to do with any of your bras anyway. So the only thing I don't like about this, just looking at it out of the package, is the bow. Like if I like this one and it fits and it's comfy, that bow is going. Like I'm not 14. Not even close. Um, yeah, so adjustable straps and apparently you can also, this is one of the ones you can like crisscross in the back, which I, I'm never going to do that. Yeah, let's try it on. Okay, so it's too big. Um, I... I don't really know what's happening here. I put it on the second um, hook and the straps actually feel really good and supportive and like actually the underwire and like the band feel nice, um, but the cups are too big. Like I, I, they're over going over here. There's like an opening here. Like if I leaned over, I don't know what you'd see. Um, and then this feels like it's gonna be one of those bras that like bends over after you wear it like once, you know what I mean? Like instead of being invisible under clothes, you're gonna see this line. Um, which is not something I like. <laughs> um, so it's not super uncomfortable. The, I don't know, like the wire is hard. It's not like, like, I think it's the parade one I have is like the wire doesn't feel as like firm. This is just a firm. I can see how you might like it. And I think for the price, like it's not bad. Um, maybe I would be a 34B, um, but then I feel like I'd be exploding out of it. So I don't know. Like, I wanna show you from the side. Like, doesn't that look weird? It does not look weird. Am I like going nuts? Like that, ooh, look at that. Maybe just, I'm lopsided, I don't know. This side fits better, but I don't know if you can see, I don't like zoom in on my boobs, like, cause it's not PG. Um, but like, I feel like it's smooth and then it kind of sticks out there like that. So 
This is gonna be a no. I'm definitely returning this one. But you know, we still have three left, so we shall see. I don't think it's that bad. Like, I think that if you are on a real low budget, it's okay. I do think it's supportive, and I do like how high it comes here. Like, look at that. Like, there's no, like, under armpit fat boobish coming out of the side so I do think that's nice but yeah I just think it's not the right size for me like right now I'm feel like I'm like a b and a half you know what I mean <laughs> there's a guy outside and I feel like he's looking at me through the window but you know what you can do this one I got I guess in a 34b the one I'm wearing now is a 34c and this I'm going next it's a 34c so I got the black one in a 34b and I thought I got them all in c's but maybe they didn't have the 34c um it does look like it'll fit a little bit better but this one had these in it um like to hold the shape so that i do feel like it's like a little bit more shaped i do like that this one has like this little gold thing in the front um it's better than the it's better than the bow that's for sure okay this one is called lightly lined bra fancy let's try it on okay so this is the 34b it's the same brand but it's just called the lightly lined bra it's not called the everyday lightly lined bra whatever the difference is it feels a little bit more like i'm filling it out um but it's not that different like to be honest like between the b and c i'm not feeling like this fits that much better i do like the straps on this one a little bit more they have like a little bit of like a detail to them i did have to tighten the straps which i think is weird because i didn't have to do that for the other one they're at the same point um this one is a little less like a full coverage, like not that the other one was full coverage, but like I feel like this one isn't going as high here, which isn't bad. Like I don't need so much, you know, support like that. This feels, ugh, I don't know. It almost, ugh, like there's definitely less gaping. Um, You can see it's like pretty smooth against here, even there. So that's good. Um, It definitely fits better than the other one. I have to say it does fit better. Um than the C, so maybe I am a B, maybe it's just this brand, I don't know. But I do feel like even though it's a Denny and there is no push up, there is some pat not padding, but like, you know, it's lightly lined, not unlined. Um and like you're supposed to lift your breasts and you know fill it and you know it fits. Um and it's supportive and it doesn't feel like it's digging. I definitely give myself like six paper cuts with a stupid tag. Um it's this that I'm like having an issue with. Can you see this? Like I feel like this should be higher, not like, <laughs> that looks stupid. Um, like, I feel like you can see my, this is where my boobs touch, right? And then here is like underneath, like, I don't know, it's weird. It definitely fits. And what's a bummer is that this is the best one. I mean, I'll, I still have two more to try, but this one I like more than the last one for sure. Um, and I don't think it's just the size, like this one feels more cottony. That one is a little bit more silky. I do still get that feeling though. Like I think that's just because of the price to be honest. But I still do get, I don't know, can you see that here? Like where it's like pushing in and then comes up like that. And that's what used to happen when I used to wear Victoria's Secret bras a thousand years ago. Whether they were push up or not, they always had that. Like this part would like bend over like that. Like instead of just being smooth to your skin. That's like a thing I had issued with, with a lot of bras. Um, And this one... I don't know it's always one side is that weird like what is that is that like a because they're cheap <laughs> like this side feels like it's doing that like it's in and then it comes up here this one feels a little bit more smoothed to me i don't know this one is definitely so far thumbs up but maybe not i might not keep it i'm not going to keep this one actually because i want a nude bra and i didn't eat a black i just want to see if it would fit for the video so if this was nude, I would most likely keep it, especially for like $10, $15. We're gonna do the bralette and this time it's a medium. This one was $13. So they didn't have um, the waterless one in a cup size. It was just medium, small. Um, and this one is a little unlined. It's like a little bit see-through. I am in front of the light though, um, but it's cute. Like, is that not the cutest thing? It's like a little plunge moment. So it says medium is 34C, 36B. Um, so it might be a little bit big on me but every time I get a small it's too small I've also had bralettes from Auden before but like very loungy like bedtime kind of ones and they've always been like too tight so I thought 34c would make sense um unline long line bralette simply pull over style um natural look smooth on your clothes well I don't think that's true for the other two I've been wearing that they said that but this one feels really like this is comparable to some real more expensive brands it's super soft and smooth um, again, I wish there was a nude, <laughs> but I'm gonna try this one on. And so far, I don't know how I feel. It is comfortable. It is very comfortable. It looks a little like a halter top, like it ties in the back or crosses in the back. It's super comfy. 
Um, I do feel like I could maybe loosen the straps a little bit, um, but it's, I don't know, I don't know, it fits here beautifully, like this is so comfortable. Um, and then there's like the seam here, which is really nice. I love the plunging V, it's super comfy. My issue is, so I don't, I think my right breast must just be smaller than my left one because like this one looks smooth, like right? I mean, I must've gotten like deodorant on it or something. Um, but this one, like, what is that? What is this? There's like extra fabric, like are my boobs that different? Hang on, let me try holding the phone with my other arm and see if that makes a difference. Um, kind of, actually it did. Cause now that this arm's lifted, this one has that and this one's like a little bit smoother. I think it's just cause it was wrinkled to be honest. Okay, this is so comfy. Like I gotta say for $13, this is a winner. I do think it could be a little bit tighter. I think that if I had gotten a small, it would be way too tight though. And I'd be like exploding. Um, I like it though. It's so comfy. I don't know that I would wear this underneath clothes though. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's like, it just feels like a lounge bra. Like it feels like something I'd wear around the house, something underneath like a t-shirt that's like loose fitting, but I don't feel like I would wear this like on a normal day out and about. Like, you know, it's like a little not supportive. Um, I think if you're any bigger than a C, <sighs> It's very comfortable. It's very comfy. And the back is like nice and smooth and like, can you see? It's like very, it's very, very nice. And I, for 13 bucks, I like it, but it's not what I was seeking out with this haul. Um, I was seeking a wired nude bra. So um, this may just be like an extra thing I don't need, but I do really like it. So Ah, uh, last but not least is the brown one. Um, and let's see, that one also has these um, in it to hold the molded shape. Um, I think this one is the most expensive, which I think was $14.99. I know, a big spender here. Um, this one is the Auden, the Icon, lightly lined full coverage underwire, adjustable straps, smooth on their clothes, designed to reduce wire, okay, so it's kind of like the first one, but this one's called the Icon instead of the Everyday. Um, and this is a 34C, yeah, $14.99. This looks huge for me. This is too big. I can already tell you right now, this is gonna be too big. Um, I would need a B, not a C, but we will try it on. This one, I'm already seeing before I put it on. Do you see that? Right there. Do you see that? How it like comes back up? You see that, right? Like it's in and then it sticks up there. I hate that. So that might be an issue with cheap bras we're gonna try this one on so far not great i was really hoping i'd be like guys you can buy bras for less than 15 dollars bralettes bras before i turn the camera around show you in the mirror i have to say this is the weirdest fitting bra i've ever tried on probably in my life it is too big yet too small at the same time i don't know how to describe it when you see it maybe you'll understand okay i feel like i'm wearing a push-up bra let me just put that out there right now. This is a full coverage, as lightly padded. There's no like big, you know, bit in here, but it feels like my breasts are being, <laughs> like they feel like they're being squished. Um, it's not comfortable. It's not. Um, I have it on the loosest um, clasp, which is weird because it's a 34C, just like the other ones, which fit beautifully around this area anyway. Um, but you can see how it's like, look at, like, it's like pushing in. Like, this would leave you with a mark after 10 minutes. This I like right here. It has, like, this cute little cross over here. Um, and honestly, it's the smoothest one so far, like, with this area. Like, it doesn't bend out as much as the other two. But I'm going to turn to the side real quick. Um, there's a little bit of gaping, just, I think, from holding my arm like this. Like, look at that. When I lower my arm gaping goes away so let's do it this way see gaping goes away but almost do you see the 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 mono boob is that what's called i don't know the thing where like your bra is here but your boob sticks out a little like this is tight i have this on the the loosest one and it's like suffocating me like i want to take this off so bad and make it's like making me sweat um it's weird that all these that the black one which was the 34b I think fit the best, um, yet it was looser than this one, which is a 34C. Um, just some weird stuff going on. I think that it's not super consistent with the sizing. Um, I have an eyelash in my eye. I, I'm not gonna keep anything but the bralette 
which is the one thing I didn't need because I have a drawer of bralettes that I consistently wear um, and I like them and I love them and they're comfy, but I wanted a wired bra. To be honest, this has potential, like it does. Like actually it looks nice. It looks the nicest out of the other ones just because it's kind of the, the smoothest this way. Um, and there's the least amount of gaping, which is so weird because I feel like it's, it is, maybe it's because it's a full coverage one. So it definitely like this one comes up higher over here and like it definitely feels more supportive, but like in a way that I don't like, like it feels supportive, like overly supportive. Like I don't like how tight and like scummished I feel. Um, honestly, right now, based on everything I've tried, I'm going to keep the bralette, which is useless right now. Um, <laughs> And I'm gonna recommend the, I think it's just the t-shirt bra, I think, um, from Parade. You can use my code for a discount, but that one is great. If they came out with a nude color in that, I'd be, I'd pick that up in five seconds flat. Um, yeah, these are not the best. I mean, I don't know if you guys love these bras um, from Auden because like I can see the potential in them. I don't think they're the worst bras ever. Um, I think that they're decent. I think that for the price, you're getting what you're paying for, essentially. So, um, if you want a wired bra that's under $20, I think you'll feel like you got a wired bra for under $20, but not in the worst way. Um, I've tried on much worse bras in my life. So my suggestion is if you want to try these bras, try them on. Order a couple in different sizes and try them on, and then return the ones that don't fit or that you don't like. Or go to the store and try them on. And I put the black bralette back on and I just want you to see how freaking cute it is. I mean, I'm obsessed with this. This is the, this is so comfy. It is not going to give me that like nice rounded, you know, like under a tight shirt thing. But honestly, if I was wearing like a high-waisted skirt, I would just wear this as a top. It's so comfortable and I'm very, very comfortable in it. I like how this gets to, like there at the top. I just think it's really, really flattering. Um, so this is definitely a keeper and I would recommend it if you want something like this. I don't know. I feel like if there was a B and a half, maybe all those would have worked out better. I don't know. But um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was helpful. If you want more stuff like this, let me know. Um, this is just something I personally was looking for. So I thought maybe you guys would and it would be helpful. So if you guys want more like cheap bra try-ons or something else from like Target because Target's my second home um <laughs> then let me know and also what do you think about my hair this is not the best look I did blow dry it last night it looked so much better but then I slept on it and all that good jazz but let me know what you think about the blonde like do you love it do you hate it I'd love your opinions but if you have any recommendations for like an affordable actual bra that's just like a demi a classic demi bra pretty much if you've tried the parade one if you love that one one just like that but not black in nude also um take a minute before I go to thank my cat for actually sitting down behaving sleeping throughout this whole video and not going nuts I want to say hello <gasps> look who woke up look at your sleepy boy with his eye boogies you good boy, aren't you good boy? Look at that yawn. But yeah, uh, we're gonna bid you adieu and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, just in case, cause I just realized this one was underneath here the whole time too, what a good boy.